Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Tony McKeg. This video is about achieving the 250 subscribers for the channel. Now, for, if you're watching this video, chances are you're a subscriber on the channel and thank you very much. I do appreciate what you've done to help this channel grow over the last 100 days particularly and over the previous four to five hundred days. Now the this video is going to be split into five parts. The first part is going to be just a brief watch of three videos which have been the top performing videos on my channel and then following that I'm going to talk a little bit about the numbers. The numbers uh, will be brief and to the point but the numbers have changed dramatically. The third part will be the top images from the channel selected based on their performance on photo sharing uh, sites. The fourth part will be a little bit of a revisit and a discussion around how I'm managing the channel going forward. And the fifth bit is around my top five subscribers who I'm going to do a shout out to. Now the first bit is the videos. The first video is actually a video that was originally published well over a year ago and for a long time it toddled along got a few viewers but around about a hundred days ago it started to really kick off to the point now it has achieved well over 500 viewers in the last hundred days and has achieved 10 hours. Now that's the uh, grey mouth bar video and that should take around about a minute to play through that. Now the second video is part of the Chasing Clouds series. It's Chasing Clouds uh, Panoramic uh, Landscape Photography and I'll show you a minute of that. The last video is the video of when I went and visited the Manor 2 bird sanctuary down at Foxton Beach and to my, to my surprise that actually got me 13 subscribers to the channel which is the highest by quite a significant amount of any video so far. Now just in terms of discussing the numbers, most of us focus on views and views can be um, useful as a measure and certainly amongst uh, the YouTube analytics it's quite a high, uh, high number but the, the view, views that have happened in the last uh, 90 days have more than doubled 
the views on the channel. In fact, it's around about 60% of the views on the channel so far. I've created a graph of what's happened in the last 60 days to show what's happened with views, with hours watched, and also with uh, impressions. And they're quite remarkable the way they have actually grown over that period. Bearing in mind that March is only a three week. Okay, the other two things that I want to bear in mind is, and I think it's really important, is the hours watched because not only to monetize do you need to have a thousand subscribers, but you also need to have 4,000 hours watched. And part of the reason why I chose to go to two videos a week or two vlogs a week was around getting more hours because when I looked at my graphs there were days where there were virtually no views and no hours. Anyway the last number is the subscriber growth which as I said nearly 60% of the well in actual fact it's more than that because we've gone from uh, 100 subscribers on the, th on the 5th of December to today where we are around about 160 more than that. So that's a really great growth in that time. That all the five photos that uh, have performed really well on my channel are the following, the Blenheim Shack, which was one in one of the first videos in December, or just after uh, I came back from Christmas, where this the Vineyard Shack. The second one is um, the picture looking back to the city of the walkway, um, heading into heading into into Parley itself. The fourth one is the Tararua Wind Farm Panorama, which it featured in also the second most popular view hour video. And then the fourth popular picture is the Kiwi Tia Tree and the Shack, the new composition which I found a new way of looking at it. So that was quite an interesting one. And the fourth, the last one is the shack, the latest picture, which only came on the, um, in my last, well, two videos ago, I think it was, um, the one at Mount View Shack, which is a, a photograph I take quite regularly, but this was a lot closer to crop and a bit warmer sunrise lighting than what I usually have. The, the last thing I wanted to talk to, talk about before we do the shout out is just the different way that I deal with subscribers nowadays. It occurred to me that the secret to view hours is having consistent views from your top subscribers and the key to this was a comment that Tim from Cheap Shot Photography made uh, when he was doing his year wind up and maybe his year kick off, I can't remember which one it was, he talked about super subscribers and effectively they were people who regularly watched your videos, watched the full video and pressed the like button and made a comment. And I realised I had a few of those, but probably that was going to be the secret to getting view hours up. So. I started to actually recording views uh, back in mid-January. I started recording views by videos and by, by um, viewer. And I quickly found that there was, it was a relatively easy stat to increase because really what you do is you treat them the way that they treat you, is that you watch their videos, like their videos, make comments on their videos, and just generally build a relationship with them. So in that time, that grew, the, the comments might being made, my comments on the channel have doubled within six weeks, which I think is a pretty impressive stat. Okay, 
Now the last thing in the video is the shout out to the people who I consider have been making a pretty consistent and above the call of duty contribution to the channel. And the first two are the two Andrews, which are Andrew Hamilton Photography and Andrew Walton Photography. And they both have been subscribing to my channel for as long as I remember. And both of them are very consistent. Both of them have commented on virtually every video that I've put out. And I really appreciate the contribution of those two guys. And I've put um, a, a image of their channel up for you to have a look at. The third person in the group is a person who's come a bit bit more lately. He's a young fella, young Scottish guy who does uh, portrait outside portraiture photography. Oliver Shutterspeed is his channel name and he's very enthusiastic. He's always keen to know what's happening with my channel and how it's going for me and I really appreciate that. The fourth person I want to do a shout out to is Soulscape Fine Art Photography. And he is, he does different form of pastel type art and it's quite impressive. And he does shorts and he actually does probably a, a short a day. And the last person is probably the most significant person on the channel was somebody I knew before I started the channel. And I was quizzing her about the, the channel and it's Belinda at Vade Art. And she also runs an art channel. It's a she bases it on on pouring paint on canvas. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate the contribution that you make to the channel. If you're not a subscriber here, please consider subscribing. If you like the content of the video, can you please press the like button? If you know somebody who would be interested in my channel or the content that's on it, please share this video with them and please also make a comment. Thank you very much.